Right on our way. Or something new. Just a few questions. Mm. One of them is uh, from uh, your statements. Mm. Of course, if somebody can drive from Kampala up to my home area, to look for a brother, my brother, who is a town clerk in the village, to ask him such a question, it seems there is something is wrong. So I, I don't take that lightly. I, I will inform my boss, the head of state, that if somebody can drive from Kampala up to Kakumiro to look for my brother and ask him, what does this woman want? I cannot take that lightly. Mm. I told my brother, you tell that woman that what I want, one, quality service. Two, I told him we want to account for every penny that is given in service to our people. Three, we need to really be transparent. Hmm? We need to be transparent. Lastly, I thought we needed to also, you know, be, how can I turn it? Where you have money which can be commensurate to the service given. Yes. You went to Kasese on right on the You found out that the products were being supplied. You also saw You saw that. Did you, were you happy to see? Have you considered that you see that it's a mistake? Yes. When, when I came back, I did not take this lightly. We cannot continue like this. As a Prime Minister, I have some powers that are given to me by the Constitution. So I wrote the Permanent Secretary. Directing him on the following. One, I wanted to know who were the contractors. I wanted the report. Two, who, which officer was responsible for the purchase of such substandard items? Three, how much was it? And they gave me a report yesterday, and I was not satisfied. So I asked for further investigation into the matter. That's where we are. I have involved the IGD, I have involved police, I have involved the anti-corruption unit. So that, because if, as a leader, if you are not satisfied, you have avenues you can use to investigate. Yes. Another one from me. Yesterday, Dr. Christopher, you must say that in the list of the... I'm going to talk to you family. Oli ya vuze na ave kampala, ya soma ne brother wange. Na atuka iri na mgamba, echinde so li mkwano wange, tuwa soma fene makerere. Na ye Muganda wa yagalachi. Na Muganda wa yucha yagala, ayagala service. Echoko vilika nkubuli le, ya ansi wako. Nga achia alika sala ku districti. Nga nina discoordinate. Paka lwe ya nyamba kone tusasula sente za government. And that is it. Nze sina chemba agala ko, chemba agaza kukola milimogulu unji. Ila nja agala kolo uchiko, au kuofisi ya fea prime minister. Ndabenga abantu badda mu nteko. Nje sina muntu gwe nonya, nje nonya service. Abantu bafe bana Uganda bafunimu. Choka. Sina ba mutegeza. Nja mutegeza. Yes, kati ebintu byenagana byako myewo. Echo chimu. Echo kubiri. Uh, na wandika wa pandi kila kama ni sekretari ni mu, mugamba njagala okumanya bani abasa plainge bintu ebyo ani avunanyizibwa ayakola ensubizino naba ani atakula due diligence auditor chia ya kirimu chino kubanga katonda teka mu store auditor soka kola chi okweke menya no verify Biyali vya sente meka. Bari guladi. Katina ampereza report yesterday. Report na jira vye, nisi vera satisfied. Ne mpandika, nga mpandikira haba kurve mba gambi yeko. Ofisi ya IGD, ofisi ya nakarema, ne ya anti-corruption, ne, ne police, investigative arm of government. Katina ize report, naba wade na kusatu, bajirete, tutamikira. Mm. Kuweleza. 
bino bya tulimwe bya parliament ne bwa minister bya bwereza tewali kati ngabo olaba omusawo bwajanja bo mulwadde naona o o awulira bulungi tewali kinsanyusa kati ngenna kuzino okulaba abantu nga bafunya akasete naga na sobodo gula muka kilo kasukali o o nga afulira bulungi echo chimpa satisfaction eyenja ulo nabagambye banange twino okulwana okulaba nga tutambula mu ministries okulaba nga tuweleza abantu baffe kubanga tubade tuluzinga ababa kabanji almost buli kisanja nga banafe batuva kata aba mungu olaba balunji nga buli kasera wajja bapya buli kasera wajja bapya government ebe firidwa experience yoli gye tumutadde mu ekyo kubiri government obana abo bonyine ababaka baba kugamba nabo baba bafiridwa embera eyenja wulu ekyo kusatu abantu ababadde babaliko nga bamanyidde atoyo abama kisi akatimba okwatwa nenso ni ogamba bojo banu bachali banya Uganda chichi kukora sente na bachezo so i need your prayers akuba ro mistakes leke ya gamba mnyanya zi ngoro anyaga ntiye twasoma fene makereri na yimu ganda wa yagarachi Aya gala chomo kazo yo. Ati ebi ebi habuzo. Which means abantu abantu tubasambira muku. Nyowe mugambira bagambe tinyi na chen kwenda. Tinyi na chen kwenda, nkwenda kintu kimu amananu. Tinyi na chen kwenda, nkwenda kintu kimu abantu bafune ekyo kibasanire kufuna kama nya Uganda yeso mundu akubunda bunda abaine bizibu ne kandi kumwongera we bizibu bindi nanka yo i'm sorry but that has been my trend that has been my way of doing things from childhood so they will just cop up with me um <laughs> my brother told her uh, you know my brother was a coordinator of nurses he was a bit negligent during that time when we were having nerves coordinators at sub county level. So they supplied the goats which were sub standard to Nkoko sub county where he was a nerves coordinator. I arrested him. My real brother. He told them she arrested me. And that was way back when I was still a councillor in the district. So that is the number that you have. Some time back, he also told them that in the year 2012, Kibale district was collecting money on roads. You also have these stories. So I saw the, the products of my, my people. The cost was going down terribly because business people could no longer come to Kakumiro because of those exorbitant prices, the, uh, exorbitant charges they were putting on the road. I removed that roadblock. Remember, we even had to exchange. So I, I don't want anything that really makes makes my people suffer. Yes. Cost is not new in this country. I've seen several times ministers being scared and intimidated by those staff in those same ministries where they are heads. And uh, maybe what I can say is for the prime minister not to fear. Just remain in her focus in her line of responsibilities so that she doesn't also go I think beyond where she's supposed to reach. I believe she's going to perform and at least so far we have seen how she is doing she's doing well. I only want to encourage her to stand out and speak for the the poor, the vulnerable Ugandan who has been suffocated in most of these institutions. For instance, when we go to the health sector, you see what the situation is so terrific. When we come to these other institutions, even in the local government, many of the staff there are being suffocated. Corruption has eaten almost all the institutions of this country. And uh, when we have a prime minister who can come out and stand out and speak uh, on what is happening in this institution, we feel proud and we also pray and also request for these other staffs in these different ministries or even other ministers in the other ministries to also come out and speak about corruption but also implement they, imp they should implement they should also be role models apart from just making statements political statements it should be exemplary
right, right one over. Or something needs. Just a few questions. Mm. One of them is uh, from uh, your statements. Mm. Of course, if somebody can drive from Kampala up to my home area, look for a brother, my brother, who is a town clerk in the village, to ask him such a question, it seems there is something is wrong. So I, I don't take that lightly. I, I will inform my boss, the head of state, that if somebody can drive from Kampala up to Kakumiro to look for my brother and ask him, what does this woman want? I cannot take that lightly. Mm. I told my brother, you tell that woman that what I want, one, quality service. Who, I told him, we want to account for every penny that is given in service to our people. Three, we need to really be transparent. Hmm? We need to be transparent. Lastly, I thought we needed to also, you know, be, how can I tell it? Where you have money which can be commensurate to the service given. Yes. So you, you went to Kasese on right on the mm. You found out that the products that were being supplied. You also sold. You saw that. Did you, were you happy to see? Yeah. Yes. When, when I came back, I did not take this lightly. We cannot continue like this. As the Prime Minister, I have some powers that are given to me by the Constitution. So I wrote to the Permanent Secretary. directing him on the following. One, I wanted to know who were the contractors. I wanted the report. Two, who, which officer was responsible for the purchase of such substandard items? Three, how much was it? And they gave me a report yesterday and I was not satisfied. So I asked for further investigation into the matter. That's where we are. I have involved the IGD, I have involved the police, I have involved the anti-corruption unit. So that's because if as a leader, if you are not satisfied, you have avenues you can use to investigate. Yes. Another one from me. Yesterday, Dr. Chris Mariam was saying that, that in the list of the family. Oli have so brother wange. Na na tuka iri na mugam echinde so li mukwano gwange tuwa so mafenema kerere. Na ye Muganda wa yagalachi. Na Muganda wa yucha yagala, yagala service. Echoko vili kankuburi ni, yansi wako. Nga achaa alika sala ku district. Nga nina adizi koordinate. Paka luyanyamba kone tisasula sente za government. And, and that is it. <laughs> Nze sina chemba agala ko, chemba agaza kukola nilimogulu unji. Ila nja agala kolo uchiko, au kuofisi ya ya prime minister. Ndabenga abantu bada munteko. Nje sina muntu gwe nonya. Nje nonya service. Abantu bafi wana Uganda bafi nimu. Choka. Sina ba mutegeza. Nja mutegeza. Yes, kati ebi nitu vye nagana vya kumi yeo. Echo chimu. Echo kubiri. Uh, na wandika, wampandi kila permanent secretary ne mugamba njagala okumanya bani abasa plan ebintu ebyo ani avunanyizibwa ayakola ensubizino naba ani atakula due diligence auditor chia ya kirimu kino kubanga natonda teka mu store auditor soka kola chi okwekemenya no ku verify byali bya sente meka Bari guladi, katina mpereza report yesterday. Report na jiravye, nisi wera satisfied. Ne mpandika, nga mpandikira haba kurve mba gambieko. Ofisi ya IDG, ofisi ya nakalema, ne ya anti-corruption, ne, ne police, investigative arm of government. Katini ze report, nabawade na kusatu, bajirete, tutamikira. Mm. Kuweleza. 
bino byetu limu ebya parliament ne ba ne ba minister bya bwereza tewali kati ngabo olaba omusawo bwajanja bo mulwadde naona o o awulira bulungi tewali kinsanyusa kati ngenna kuzino okulaba abantu nga bafunya akasente naga na sobo dogula mu kakiro kasukale o o nga apulira bulungi ekyo chimpa satisfaction eyenja ulo nabagambye banange twino okulwana okulaba nga tutambula mu ministries okulaba nga tuweleza abantu baffe kubanga tubadde tuluzinga ababa kabanji almost buli kisanja nga banafe batuva kataba mungu olaba balunji nga buli kasera wajja bapya buli kasera wajja bapya government ebe firidwa experience yoli jetumutadde mu ekyo kubiri government oba nabo bonyine ababaka baba kugamba nabo baba bafiridwa embera eyenja wulu ekyo kusatu abantu ababadde babaliko nga bamanyidde ate yaba amakisi akatimba okwatwa nensoni ogamba bojo banu bakyali banya Uganda kiki kukora sente na bachezo so i need your prayers akuba ro musikya izireke ya gamba mnyanya zi ngoro anyaga ntiye twasoma fene makerere na ye muganda wa yagarachi aya gara cyo mukazoyo ati ebiye bihabuzo which means abantu abantu tubasambira mukubi nyowe mugambira bagambe tinyina cyen kwenda tinyina cyen kwenda nkwenda kintu kimu amananu tinyina cyen kwenda nkwenda kintu kimu abantu bafune eto kibasanire kufuna kama nya Uganda yeso mundu akubunda bunda abaine ebizibu ne kandi kumwongera we bizibu bindi nanka yo i'm sorry but that has been my trend that has been my way of doing things from childhood so they will just cope up with me um <laughs> my brother told her uh, you know my brother was a coordinator of nuns she was a bit negligent during that time when we were having nuns coordinator that sub county level so they supplied the goods which were sub standard to koko sub county where he was a nuns coordinator i arrested him my real brother he told them she arrested me and that was way back when i was still a councillor in the district so that is the number that you have some time back he also told them that in the year 2012 kibale district was collecting money on roads you also have these stories so i saw the the products of my my people the cost was going down terribly because business people could no longer come to kakumiro because of those exorbitant prices the, uh, um, exorbitant charges they were putting on the road i removed that road block remember we even had to exchange so i, I don't want anything that really makes makes my people suffer yes cost is not new in this country we have seen several times ministers being scared and intimidated by those staff in those some ministries where they are heads and uh, maybe what i can say is for the prime minister not to fear just remain in her focus in her line of responsibilities so that she doesn't also go I think beyond where she's supposed to reach i believe she's going to perform and at least so far we have seen how she is doing she's doing well i only want to encourage her to stand out and speak for the the poor the vulnerable ugandan who has been suffocated in most of these institutions For instance when we go to the health sector you see what the situation is so terrific when we come to these other institutions even in the local government many of the staff there are being suffocated corruption has eaten almost all the institutions of this country and uh, when we have a prime minister who can come out and stand out and speak uh, on what is happening in this institution we feel proud and we also pray and also request for these the other staffs in these different ministries or even other ministers in the other ministries to also come out and speak about corruption but also implement they imp they should implement they should also be role models apart from just making statements political statements they should be exemplary